Um. Uh oh oh, this is another thing, bro. I'm not even like I've said about Tatum, whatever. I'm done slandering Tatum, bro. At least until I bet on him again. But for now, I'm done slandering him. Jalen Brown is the one who needs to be getting fucking cooked on Twitter every day, bro. He deserves all the fucking hate he gets, dude. Okay? And I don't think he gets enough. Because that motherfucker is overrated as fuck, dude. I, dude, I think he had nine turnovers tonight. Somebody, somebody pulled the stats. He had eight or nine turnovers. Every time he dribbled the ball, he lost the ball. He can't play defense. What the fuck does he do? If he's not making jump shots, what does he do, bro? He's ass. Bro, one of the most overrated players in the NBA. And if I was the Celtics, I would try to, like, do some kind of package. I'm sure his, his value has gone down after that fucking performance, but I'm sure it still has some kind of value. Bro, I'd put together some package. Get him the fuck out of there, bro. Let Tatum just be like, uh, you know, the man. Don't worry about don't worry about having to share the ball with fucking Jalen Brown, who's throwing the ball off his face out of bounds every other possession. Every other possession, he touches the ball, he dribbles it and throws it into traffic. Um, this was the tweet. This was the tweet right here that that people were like, people were shitting their pants trying to fucking rationalize this shit right here, bro. Um, They said, would the Heat blowing a 3-0 lead to the Celtics be the biggest choke in NBA history? First of all, let me ask you guys that. Would this be the biggest choke ever in the history of the NBA? Would this be the biggest choke? Just yes or no. Be honest. If you think it is, yes. If it's not, no. Just yes or no. Just be honest, bro. I don't worry about siding with me or just trying to troll me. Just be honest. Let's put a poll, actually. Put a poll. One of the mods. Um, I said no. Uh, the Heat of the eighth seed. Um, Steph Curry and the seventy three nine Warriors in twenty sixteen, blowing a three one lead in the NBA Finals is the worst by far. Um, and I said by far because, dude, you got to think about the context and what was going on at the time. Okay, nobody had the Heat winning. No one has the Heat winning even in the first round or the second round. Third, no one had the Heat, bro. Okay, the Warriors were being praised. They were being called the best team ever, better than the '96 Bulls. They had more wins than the '96 Bulls. Um, they, Steph Curry, back-to-back -back MVPs. People were saying he's better than LeBron James. This was really being said on national television, and Twitter was not as big back then, and YouTube and all that shit was not as big. Because if it was, this shit would not have been. This shit would not have gone down the way it it, it, it went down, bro. There were there were grown men on national television saying that Steph Curry is better than LeBron. The only people at any point in time who have ever truly believed that I are LeBron haters or Steph Curry Warriors fans. There's no normal basketball fan saying that Steph Curry is better at the game of basketball than LeBron. If you want to say he's a better shooter, he's a better shooter, bro. He is. He's literally not better at anything else than LeBron. He's a better shooter. From every range, he's a better shooter than LeBron. That is it, though. Okay? Anyway. Um, yeah, there were people trying to rationalize with this, saying, no, it's the Heat. And a lot of Warriors fans defending it, talking about injuries, and, oh, dude, fucking Bogut got hurt. But you're not, but you're not talking about the Heat losing four players, though, right? You're not you're not talking about that though, right? Um look, look at these people handles like like LeBron's like LeBron can't handle the ball. Like what are you talking about, bro? If you have to bring up handles in a basketball argument, you fucking lost the argument, bro. You're bringing up hand Fine, you got handles too. Curry's a better dribbler and a shooter. Cool. LeBron is better at every single thing else. He's better at everything else on defense. He's better at everything else offensively. He's better in every at every position, including point guard, because he's a better passer than Curry also. He's better than Curry. No normal, rational person is saying Curry's better than LeBron. That's not even a, a, an argument. But what I'm saying is in 2016, that was actually an argument. So that's why I'm saying that um, the, the Warriors blowing the 73-9 and uh, Warriors blowing 3-1, I think that has to be the biggest collapse 
and it doesn't matter how good LeBron is. The Warriors were the favorite, bro. They were the favorite. The Heat had a 3% chance to win the series, bro. So if anything, this is a fucking massive collapse to the fucking Celtics, bro. You got the Heat missing four players. You have your whole team fully healthy. This is a fucking huge collapse for the Celtics, bro. This is bad for the Celtics. Um, I don't care if they fought all the way back from 3-0. They shouldn't even have gotten three wins. Um, so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> this was, um, this was my reaction. This was my reaction when they lost. Uh, game six. I just left the bar. I just left. Um, and, 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 you know, I love these people who are so fixated on talking about, uh, trying to discover or trying to, trying to roast people's physical appearances when, dude, I guarantee, bro, if I stood next to fucking 99% of you, bro, first of all, I'm going to be taller than you. Look, first of all, look better than you, period. Like, that, that's not even a thing. Number, But number two, your dudes are like, bro, he's five foot. Look at the door. Does this look like a normal door, bro? Does this look like a normal door? Are you looking at the size of this door? This is a normal door to you. So if I even if I am five foot, like you're saying, right? You mean to tell me that everyone else that walks through this door was designed for 10 footers? Really, dude? There's 10 foot humans walking around? You can go fuck yourself, bro. All these people are sitting here. You're so obsessed with trying with. We just talking about my physical appearance. It's fucking weird, bro. You want to talk about obsession? This is fucking weird. Hold on, Kobe's calling me. Hello? Hello? Yo, what's good? Bro, I called you earlier. I had to ask you something. Yeah, my phone's on DMD. Alright, well, you're on stream. Um... I was going to say, uh, I saw you post the crumble cookies, bro. They were fucking disgusting, dude. I threw them out. Dude, not the, not the this and that one. No, oh, they were ass, bro. I threw them out. No, dude, it was a 10 out of 10, bro. No, bro. There's only one. Wait, what was your mystery cookie? I didn't get a mystery cookie. Oh, uh, they usually have, like, a mystery cookie. But what, what was your favorite one this week? All right, this is a really obese conversation. I'm going to talk to you later. Bye. Um, no, I'm kidding. I literally tried one of the fucking crumble cookies, like a bite of one. I almost projectile vomited, bro. I'm not even kidding. Um, don't get the crumble cookies. Anyway. Uh, yeah, anyone, anyone sitting here trying to keep bringing up physical appearance, height, anything like that, you live a sad life, bro. You have to, bro. Because just number one on a human level, you know, why are we trying to bring people down? Why are we not trying to, like, you know, uh, make people feel better? Just, like, on a human level, why do you want people to feel bad? That's what I don't even understand about this shit. And everybody I meet in person, like, is the number one thing that people say to me is, bro, you're not even short. That's the number one thing people say to me, bro. But then you go on the internet, oh my god, there's no way bro is taller than 5'4". Like, motherfucker! You've never met me! You've literally never met me! Like, look at this! The one human you can compare me to that I interact with in this video, I'm literally taller than them! Like, but you're just sitting here saying I'm 5'4". Like, all you keep doing is just saying I'm 5'4", bro. So is this guy 5'3"? Like, the, like, dude, what's the average height on a man? What's the average height, bro? What, what are the odds of two people being 5'3"? Even if this is 5... What's the average height of a man? Was it, like, 5'9"? Okay, 5'9". What are the odds of two 5'4", five, 5'6 five, people passing each other? What the fuck are the odds of that, bro?
Let's see this guy. Yeah, that guy's really towering over me, bro. Literally the same height as this guy. Anyway. Um, that's not the point. That's not the point. Oh, what about this dude? What about this guy? Shoulder to shoulder with this guy. Hold on a second, bro. I'm confused. Is everyone a midge? Everyone's midge? Oh, now, oh, now I'm just waddling. Oh, so now you're just roasting how I'm walking. Dude, I can never win, bro, with these people, bro. I can't win with these people. I don't know why you want to shit on me this bad. Cool, bro. Cool. I'm in a midge bar. You're serious, bro. You won't go that far to say I'm in a midge bar instead of just being like, oh, you know what, bro? You actually might be just a normal height, bro. I'm not even saying I'm six foot. I'm saying I'm 5'9", five, 5'10", five, bro. You're saying, no, you're not. You have to be 5'4". That's fucking crazy, bro. And everyone I'm passing is also 5'4". Five, 5'4", four. Five, four, boom. 5'4", five, human. 5'3", human. This this guy right here, another five four. Everybody's five four apparently, bro. You give me five seven. How about I give you a fucking? I'll slap you across the fucking mouth in GTA six. I can't wait for GTA six. It's coming out next year, I think. Right? Isn't it? I think it is. I think it is. Please don't say two years, bro. Please don't say two years. Um. All I know, oh, th that's the other thing people like to say. Uh, Tarek Cohen, the only bro, I'm taller than this dude, and in the he's he's listed at five six. I don't even know if that's real. A lot of people lie about their height. It doesn't even matter. I'm taller than him, so minimum I would be five eight if that was the case. That would be me on the minimum side with no shoes. If I have shoes on, bro, I am five nine five ten minimum. So. So either way, you're wrong, bro. Either way, you're wrong. E literally, either way. And also, hold on a second, bro. Even if I fucking was 5'7", who the fuck cares, bro? Who the fuck cares? That's still taller than half of you. You can What do you mean, me? Let's see, bro. My legitimate height medically, because I went to the doctors on Thursday? Yesterday? Yeah, I went to the doctor on Thursday. My height, I'm not going to say my weight right now because the owl, I'm, I'm filming something and you're going to see a before and after thing, so I'm not going to reveal weight shit, but you will see in this video. Um, My height medically with no shoes is five nine and a half that's without shoes on bro if i have shoes on come walk up to me with a measuring tape and measure me bro when i'm wearing shoes because you're not gonna find me with no shoes bro that's the only time you'll see me possibly under five nine possibly depending on your fucking scale bro bro You're medically a dwarf. Just accept it.